Call wonderful wife. Hi. Hey, where, where are you? I'm just leaving. Okay, y YouTube is down. YouTube is down? What does that mean? It means I have to start thinking for myself now. <laughs> How long has it been down for? Like over an hour. Okay, hurry up. Okay. Okay, see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. So YouTube is down. This is going to be a moment of revelation for like thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, and probably millions of people on YouTube, aspiring YouTubers, YouTubers, professional YouTubers, career YouTubers. Not sure what the difference is. Everybody always says like when you are a YouTuber or when you're attached to a platform, what happens if that platform dies? Like what happens if overnight it goes bankrupt? What happens if overnight it just dissolves as a platform? People sort of think that like if you're married to YouTube, you're somehow more vulnerable than say veterinarians because there's always going to be a need for veterinarians or lawyers or telephone operators. The last one is an example of a sarcastic sort of reference. Everything is always in perpetual flux. What exists today is not necessarily going to exist tomorrow. The platforms that exist today are not necessarily going to exist tomorrow. Does it mean that everyone who is successful on one platform that becomes obsolete from one day to the next is going to wither up and die in the utter loneliness and dreadfulness and mercilessness of the cosmos? Maybe. It happens to a lot of people. But that's the thing, like, you know, there were lawyers who built their practice. Oh, by the way, I should probably parentheses right there. I'm a lawyer by trade turned YouTuber, but I guess I'm either lucky or unlucky in that the majority of my income doesn't come from YouTube. So I'm either a failed YouTuber or a failed lawyer, depending on who you ask. Joke. <laughs> As a lawyer, there will be fields of practice that will come into existence and then dissolve from existence when the technology becomes obsolete, when a new technology takes over. MySpace law. There were lots of lawyers who specialized in MySpace and when MySpace went, if you guys don't know what MySpace is, then go look it up, but that's a joke. But there are fields of law which the fields, the object of the practice, you know, disappears, technology evolves, uh, customs change, laws change. And then what do you think? Do you think the lawyer just withers up and dies? They're out of business from one day to the next. This is the amazing thing. Let's just take people who are 100% dependent on YouTube for their livelihoods. There's a ton of them. Vloggers, bloggers, cloggers, schloggers. People are dependent on YouTube for their livelihood. People have made a career on YouTube. Now, does that mean if the platform on which they built their career dissolves that they then become nothing? It certainly means they have to start from scratch on another platform, but this is the thing about innovation, about evolution, about survival of the fittest, about surviving in the atmosphere that exists. Life finds a way, talent finds a way, success finds a way. Wipe out the platform, another platform will take its place, and the people who are innovative enough, adaptive enough, capable enough of learning, navigating, mastering a new platform, they'll be able to do it again, regardless of what the platform is. YouTube is not unique. YouTube is not the be all and end all of any social media, video sharing, content creation platform. It's just one iteration of an infinite iterations of content creating platforms. Oh man, so you have MySpace, you had other things. You then had YouTube, you have Vimeo, you have Twitter, you have Instagram, you have IGTV. The platforms for compelling content creation are always going to exist. They're always going to evolve. One is going to die off while another one comes to existence. It's not any different than nature then animals, then dinosaurs. Dinosaurs died to give rise to the evolution of mammalia. Rats, which then became bigger rats and monkeys and humans. It's not a meteorite that kills life on Earth. It just forces the life on Earth to evolve and adapt to the new circumstances. YouTube has been down. Jeez, what have I done? My wife is at a house party. Not a house party. My wife is at a PhD neuro postdoc party. Uh, thrilling, thrilling. I, I couldn't go because I have the three kids here and the two dogs. But, you know, I was planning on uploading some videos to YouTube, but I can't do that now. Where was I on this? I forget where I was going with this. Nobody who has succeeded on YouTube is going to panic. YouTube is but a blip in the evolution of all things social media content creation technology.
YouTube will evaporate tomorrow. God forbid, hopefully it's up in the morning because I've built a substantial amount of goodwill on YouTube. The only thing that I get depressed about, but this is not about YouTube, this is about the cosmos, and listen to this and it's gonna blow your mind. Imagine the day when the sun implodes or explodes and either incinerates or freezes the earth to death such that all life that had ever existed on this wonderful planet vanishes without any trace of it having ever existed. Think about that for a second. I guess we have to imagine the sun actually exploding. I'm not sure if an implosion would vaporize the earth, but the sun explodes, vaporizes the earth. But for those capsules that we send into outer space every year, the very existence of all things that we know of as human, human evolution, art, music, buildings, architecture, love, babies, animals, dogs, they dissolve, they evaporate into the cosmos, they become cosmic dust without any trace of them ever having existed. Can you imagine that that can happen to our very existence? I mean, this is why Elon Musk wants to go interplanetary. The only way to ensure our survival is to get off this planet which has a finite lifespan. But just imagine we don't. Imagine this planet evaporates in a cosmic explosion and no trace of anything that was ever human exists anymore. In a way, that's what, in a way, that's kind of like what might happen if YouTube just dissolves and explodes and implodes and goes bankrupt and no longer exists tomorrow. Everything that every YouTuber has ever created on the platform just goes up in smoke like it never existed. I think I've got almost 1,200 videos on YouTube, seven, 10,000 hours of work just gone. Like it never existed, but that's what evolution is. That's what the spontaneity of the cosmos implies. Your very existence can be gone just like that. Now, with YouTube, it's gone. You can rebuild as of tomorrow on any other platform and the people who succeeded on YouTube, by and large, are gonna find a way to succeed on whatever platform takes YouTube's place. Well, those are my deep thoughts about the YouTube downage. Now, let me just see if YouTube is back up because my brain is starting to hurt. Oh my God. This is horrifying. I actually went to like major news outlets to make sure that like there wasn't some sort of massive nuclear explosion somewhere that threw off everything of the internet. This is crazy, this is crazy. Don't panic. The worst thing that happens is that I have to go back to law tomorrow morning. <sighs> when YouTube is back up, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button. If it's still here, hit it. If it's there, hit it. If it's down there, if it's in the middle of my face, hit it. Hit the notification, hit the subscribe, share, like, comment. Um, be awesome and don't forget to never stop creating because whatever the platform is, there will be room for creation because creation is evolution, evolution is life, YouTube is just an iteration of life. Peace out.